gives me great pleasure to introduce the heart and soul of the Titans, Mr. Personality, the daddy of Nashville, as he's called by fans, all pro left tackle, and the boss hog himself, number 77, Taylor Lewan. Welcome, Taylor. How y'all doing? My name is Taylor Lewan. What are you guys up to? Hey, there you are. It's a really cool opportunity to talk to you guys, man. I can't thank you guys enough for what you're doing for the city of Nashville and just uh, people in general. It's really like, this thing's a really scary thing that is taking over a lot of people's lives. And there's not a lot of you know education about this whole thing. And for you guys to step in front of this and help those people that are directly affected, is, it says a lot about your moral character and says a lot about you as people. And this is probably why you guys got the profession is to help people. I just probably never knew that. It'd be an absolute pandemic, right? So just honestly, you guys are, I mean, you guys, you guys are the front of the line of this whole thing. We, did, we can't thank you enough. Tell us how you're staying safe and, and how are you keeping in shape? I hear you have some creative workouts going. Staying inside, um, rationing food as much as possible. Obviously, I eat a lot. I need to stay um, in shape and keep my weight up. But as far as workouts, I mean, you go back to uh, the biblical time of workouts, I guess. We're doing push-ups. We're doing sit-ups. We're, we're running outside out there. I mean, I'm, I was put on this earth to, to push things, and that's, so that's what I need to do every once in a while. But it's um, it's definitely been a, a learning curve for, for me and my family. But I'll tell you what, in situations like this, staying safe, I mean, being inside, I have the coolest wife in the world. I have the best daughter in the world. It's, it's, uh, it's a pretty awesome thing to be able to spend this time with them. If you could help us message to the community that hospitals are safe, we're ready, and that if you delay care that you might need, you're putting yourself at risk unnecessarily. So there's this balance between protection and yet delaying needed care. So if you and your colleagues could be on message that hospitals are ready, physicians and groups are ready, and that we're seeing the negative impact of delaying needed care, it would really be helpful in the community. Yeah, I, I wasn't aware. I, I, I think um, a lot of people think to themselves, hey, if I'm not deathly ill, I shouldn't be going to the hospital because then that's where you get it. But I think people think a lot like, if I step foot into a hospital, those doors slide open, I've got it. It's, it's over right. the game then, and then now it begins. When re In reality, I mean, you guys are face to face with it every single day and you guys are ha healthy and moving forward and, and, and doing the things you can. I think if you need help, you need to go get help. That's one of the great things about being in this amazing country is we're afforded that opportunity to be able to get, you know, to walk into a place and say, I need help. And you, you're given that help. The time stepped up right at the beginning of this and said, how can we help? And made a significant cash donation foundation to help our, our caregivers during this time. So um, that's just one other example of the tremendous community partner that you are for us and uh, for the entire um city of nashville and we're so proud to associate with you guys well we we really appreciate it. you guys are more brave than i think i would allow myself to be and i think in a lot of these times there's it's an opportunity for people that are, are have the ability to give a hand up to give a hand up it's never about a handout it's about a hand up and so uh, my wife's doing everything she can along with a couple other people that they started this feeding nashville thing and we'll continue to keep raising money for you guys and keep getting food brought in there and the essential things that are needed to get through a hard time like this. So thank you so much for the support. Thank you. Thank you. You have about 200 leaders from Ascension St. Thomas on this call and we'd all like to on voice a big thank you to you. <laughs> well, that, that's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. 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 Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much.